Hi, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about the Steam Deck and the, in my opinion, the best thing you can buy of it. The best accessory, add-on if you like. So no matter what storage size you buy, whether you buy the 64 gig, the 256 or the 512 gig, you're quickly going to run out of storage if you put a lot of games on. I'm running a lot of games on this and I run ran out of storage very quickly. So let me go back to the main menu. I quickly ran out of storage on this and I did the same with everybody else. I had the SD card in the bottom and when I had the SD card in it just didn't cut it for me at all. It's too slow and especially if you dual boot. So this is on a dual boot so I have a 50 gig partition that is for Steam and then I have an SD card, a separate SD card, another 256 card that I run Steam games on but I have the main part of the unit is for PC games so this is obviously running Windows 10 which is very easy to install and I highly recommend you do it I don't recommend you put Windows 10 onto a memory card I, I recommend you put it onto a onto the hard drive itself uh, before I go on I must apologize I've been dying leather and, and my hands are covered in it so I apologize for my messy fingers I'm not always this dirty so this is what I think is the best add-on you can buy this is the Crucial X6. It's been out quite a while. It's an SSD. It's a 540 megabits per second SSD, which is at least three times faster than an Ultra SD card. And the beauty of this, of course, is it's quite small. It weighs next to nothing. I've just got it on a little sticker stuck on the back of there. And then the cable just plugs straight into the back, as you can see. And, of course, I get fast speed. So I can run whatever games I want on this. The downside of course is I lose my charging port. So I have to unplug this if I want to charge. So to run it on power I can't leave this plugged in at the same time. Unless of course it's on my dock. On the dock this would plug into my dock. And um, this plugs into the USB-C port of my dock. And then I can run it at the extended storage. So the massive benefit of this. Not least of being the price. It's less than 50 quid. It's £48 on Amazon at the minute. And if you want to spend a bit more, you can buy the X8 version, which is two terabytes and is faster. I think it's 1024 read speed. And that came out much more recently. As I say, I've had this since two since last year. I do used to have it on my PC. And you can see it's absolutely tiny. It weighs next to I don't know how many grams it weighs, but it's ridiculously light. It doesn't get in the way. I can still dock it easily. It doesn't affect my balance or anything when you're holding the machine. It really is a decent piece of kit just makes the Steam Deck even better so if you haven't got Steam Deck yet or you're thinking about getting one if you bought the 64 gig version of this you could just tag one of these straight into it for cheap and you'd have a cheap quick setup that's much much faster than the SD card as I say I don't recommend running much off the SD card you can see I've got a lot of gains on here so at the minute I have 512 gig um, on the SSD and also built into the machine and I also have a 256 gig card in the bottom. The 256 gig card I run strategy games on because I can get away with it on that. So I have FM manager on football manager on here. I also have a Formula One manager and because they are strategy games I can get away with obviously having the low read speed. It doesn't really affect it at all. But if I want a game on there I'm not going to have much joy unfortunately. It's just not going to do it. It's not going to cut it. And the other thing is, the fact that this is only 40 odd quid and I get 512 gig is a massive thing to me because some games that Forza Horizon, for instance, is over 100 gig. I think I have, um, what's I've got on here that's massive? I have Cyberpunk on here, which is huge. And I have, I've got quite a few Assassin's Creed Odyssey, massive. Sackboy which was just on quite big all these games quite big and take up a lot of space so you really do need it I'm going to do a, a video shortly showing you quickly how to put windows onto a dual boot I know loads of people have done it but I'm going to try and incorporate everything which is also the steam deck controller which you're going to need because obviously natively this won't support all the games you want if you run the steam deck controller which is a simple matter of clicking a button it will turn every single game compatible 
will be compatible with the buttons on your Steam Deck. So all these will be pre-mapped for every game. I haven't found a game yet it doesn't work on. So it works on every single game. And as you can see, I think I've got 34, 35 games on this at the minute. I also have another SD card. So I have a couple of SD cards that I keep in little pouches. And if I flick that out, I've got a 256 gig card that I run for MU Deck. Again, I'll have another video on uh, that because I do have run emulation on this and it's flawless. So if you haven't got one yet, you're thinking about getting one, don't think about it any longer. They're getting, I believe we're now starting to get short supply in the stores as you're going to do before Christmas. So if you're thinking about buying one of these for a present for someone at Christmas, I think just go ahead and hit the button. One thing I got asked before is, can you run Switch emulation on this? And yes, you can. So it will run Switch emulation. I've got some stuff on here. I think I have anyway. I think I've got some Switch emulation on here. What I will say is, the frame rate isn't good enough. In my opinion, it's not good enough. You need quite high-end PC to get Switch running at 60 FPS. You can, even to get it to run at its native 30 at 720, you're still going to have drop frames, I think. So, just one thing to be aware of. But yeah, I can't speak highly enough of this. If you haven't already got one of these, I'd get one. I'd certainly ditch the SD card in favour of this. And like I say, it just plugs straight in the top. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.